another post review of a diamond painting I managed to finish. This is The Artist by Matt Dixon and Distracted by Diamonds. Can we just take a moment and just soak up all of these pinks and the cuteness of this little robot? Seriously? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's talk about some details of this kit really quick. It is a 52 by 76 centimeter. There are round drills. And this one came with three ABs. And I did add one of my own uh, special enhancement drills. Some silver metallics. Um, but, oh my gosh. Is it not just the sparkliest and the cutest oh look at that look at that sparkle like y'all can't even see like the, the spilled paint can down here look at that you guys seriously i'm not usually a pink girl pink pink is usually not my jam i like like teals aquas purples those kind of colors but when this got released i went back and forth about it a little bit say maybe for the first week that after it was released but then I was thinking to myself you know what self you really do like this because you keep going back to it so let's just get it and so I did um, I have no idea how long it took me to do this painting I do feel like it took me quite a bit of time um, to be honest with you I, I don't even remember right now when I finished it Today is July the 4th. Huh, happy 4th of July. Um, but I know it has been rolled up and just sitting on the shelf for quite a while. Um, I want to say maybe I finished it earlier this year. Maybe maybe February or so I finished it. And I intended to get around to doing a post review and I just never did. But we're not going to talk about that today. We're here to talk about this. So, you can see... In the robot, this extra, extra sparkly stuff, that is the silver metallic drills I put in there. And actually, now that I'm seeing it, I'm remembering in the heart, I also put some sparklers. You see that? Uh, let me point it out here. These. These are some sparklers that I had on hand from Tima from Diamond Painting with Sparklers. So I put those in the heart, and these silver metallic are some of my enabler gems, and I had to put those in there for that. Um, the background was a lot of really nice color blocking. The robot was a lot of confetti, but look at the end result. The payoff is there. I'm iffy about the eyes. The eyes are all basically 310 AB. I'm kind of iffy on that. Um, who's I think it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights calls 310 ABs what, fly eyes. <laughs> and that's so spot on. That is exactly what they remind me of. But now having them in the robot's eyes, I'm just unsure. Down here in the body of the robot it's put in some of like the joint areas as accent, and I like that. That's good. Um, but you know what? In all honesty, I'm I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna go through you know removing them and replacing them with something else. I'm gonna leave them. Um, you know, I just eh, I'm on the fence about it. But um, he's got his little paintbrush down here with a couple more little sparklers I added into there, and then his spilled can of paint down here at the bottom. Lots of nice ABs down there. Um, like I said, this kit did come with three ABs. There's the 310 AB, a 963 AB, which I want to say is a, a light pink, and then a 5200 AB, which is a white AB. Um, such a joy to work on. I really, really did thoroughly enjoy this. And I actually... Um, they, Distracted by Diamonds released a second robot. Hang on one second. Um, I'm not sure how many robots that Matt 
has in his collection. Um, but Distrider by Diamonds did release another one. They released this one in green, you guys. It's got green, and so I fell in love. This was sent to me as a gift. I don't want to name names as to who sent it. I don't know if we named him before. I haven't opened this yet, but I do have this in my stash, and I am so excited. I cannot wait to work on this little guy. I love green, and look at the little teddy bear. The teddy bear is purple. How cute. That one is called, well, hang on. I can't read it. Here and Now is the name of that piece, and it's also a round diamond. So, I have that one for one of these days to do, and I would love it to, maybe the idea is to have the, these two hanging up together, you know? But, I just can't say enough, I really, really did enjoy this kit. It's poured glue, the poured glue was lovely to work with, the canvas material I love, um, it's actually a thicker... A thicker, it's not stiff, stiff, but it's not flimsy either. Um, it, it holds up nicely. Um, and it's actually the very similar to the material that our diamond paintings are made with. So, of course, I love it. Um, here is the way I kit up uh, Harbor Freights. Um, one thing to note, in case you haven't purchased from Distracted by Diamonds, this, this sheet came with the kit. This is a large sheet of release paper. I did use this as I was working on this kit. It was very nice to have on hand. So I love that added touch into this kit. And let's see. All right. So as we go through here, oh, another thing is the schematic sheet that came with this had these pre-cut labels and they were stickers and they, they're the perfect size for these Harbor Freight containers. So, that made kitting up an absolute joy to work on. Um, as far as the symbols go that were on this kit, I don't recall having any that were giving me issues. They were all alphanumeric except for a couple of actual, like, symbol symbols down here. Hold on one second, please. Okay, sorry, I had to fuss at them for a second. Um... I do have leftover drills of every color. I had plenty to work with. You know, some of the colors did get a little low. But I had enough to finish my painting. So that was no big deal. Um, I'm sure I could have uh, gotten some replacement diamonds from um, Diamond Drills USA if I had needed them. Or uh, I'm not sure what patty wax or robin over at distracted by diamonds i'm not sure what they might have in place for problems with diamonds i've not i've not had to contact them before but always please when you're dealing with an issue of running out of diamonds or having a problem with diamonds um it's always appreciated speaking as a small sh small business owner it's always appreciated that you give them an opportunity to correct it to make it right for you. Um, so I'm a big, big advocate for at least giving an opportunity for them to to assist in, in, in that kind of thing. Um, so these baggies are just some, there were so many drills of these colors that I wasn't able to fill up the container. So, but of course, as I progressed, I was emptying the baggies. Um, I held onto the baggies because I do really like the quality of these diamonds, so I'm planning on keeping them. That's why I'm holding on to these drills. This one pink, this beautiful bubblegum pink, this 956, I think there were three or four bags of this in this painting, but you see there's like a little over half of a baggie left as, you know, leftovers. And there's a couple of, you know, these here that I had. Um... Here are the the ABs that I had. Okay, that one AB was, is that pink, peach, whichever you may have it. And there's the black AB. Then, okay, this is what I used for sparklers. Opal Carnation Glow Glass. That's what I added into this painting as a special drop. I, I substituted it for symbol K 
which was DMC 604. So that's the sparkler that I put in there. Then here are some of my metallic silver enabler gems. Oh, it's not focusing. Those are some that I put in there. I swapped those out for symbol X, which was DMC 930. And then here's the trash that I had. Most of the trash is these little teeny tiny resin balls. <laughs> it was, um, that, that's, I guess that's become a pet peeve of mine as a diamond painter. They're very annoying because if you don't see them and pick them out carefully from your drill tray, they will get stuck as you're going along. I'm multi-place, so the... You imagine your tray having all these little resin balls, and you put your multi-placer down in there to pick up drills. You're going to pick up a lot of those little balls, and as you're placing the diamonds down, those little balls will come off on your, your painting. It happened a couple of times as I was working on this, um, and it took me a while to get them picked off, but looking back, in all honesty, if I had left them on the painting you probably would not even be able to tell. Just being honest. I think that was just one of my little quirkisms about me personally as a sometimes irrational human being. So moving right along. Um, that was the trash that I did have in this painting. As with any diamond painting, there's always going to be some trash. Um, I don't care what company it is. I don't care how popular or unpopular they may be, there's going to be trash. It's just a simple fact of this um, this craft. There's, th it's going to happen. So, overall, I am in love with the end result of this painting. It is absolutely beautiful. The, the shine and the sparkle, I really, really did enjoy it, despite not being a pink person. <laughs> I do not know if this kit is still available. Um, I recommend that you hop over to Etsy to the um, Patty Wax store and give it a favorite so that you'll be notified each time new listings are, are put up. Um, they do have in their announcement section when you know what their listing schedule is. Um, and I've actually had some a few conversations with Robin behind the scenes and she really is a pleasure to talk to. So if you have not purchased a painting from Distracted by Diamonds yet, I definitely, definitely recommend because it was a pleasure. And like I showed you, I've got this other one, which actually I think I've got four other paintings from other artists that Distracted by Diamonds released um, in my stash as well. So obviously, I'm on board with this company, so absolutely love it. So check them out. Thank you for watching my post review video. And yay me! Here's another diamond painting I managed to finish. Round of applause. Alright guys, thanks for being here, and I'll see you soon.